I'm about to finish um, one of the projects I've been working on for the past few months. I will tell you guys more about it once I finish it. So, BRB. <laughs> Okay, so the project that I've been working on is finally finished and I want to tell you guys more about it. So early on in this year, a publishing company reached out to me to do some collaboration work with them to publish the book that is about how to digital paint basically. And this is not just me, they invite a lot of artists, Thai artists. So basically it's like a book that have a process and tutorial of how to create illustration that comes from many different artists in Thailand basically something like that yeah by the way I got paid on this project it's not just like free tutorial and they make a profit out of it I do get paid to doing this so it's a fairly good deal although it's not really exciting for non-Thai people <laughs> that is actually why I debating whether I should speak in English or Thai in this video because this project is more beneficial to my Thai viewers but I also want to speak in English because because the feedback on my last video the I speak English for the entire video that video is just overwhelmingly so positive I saw a lot of English comment on that video and almost like 99% actually no 100% are all positive. Everyone was so nice and a lot of comments say they understand my English. So that is like a really good confident boost right there, you know? So now I really got encouraged to just keep speaking in English in the videos. By the way, I'm really sorry that I didn't reply or even like any comment on that video. <laughs> But I do read them all. I want to let you know I do read them all and I'm so thankful for all the comments that you guys gave me. I've just been busy on other stuff so I really not forget but lazy that sounds even worse but I really do read all the comments on that video and I really appreciate it a lot so thank you so much but I do know that majority of my audience are still from Thailand so I still mm, I don't know debating should I make every single video from now on in English or what I'm thinking right now is I speak English on my vlog videos and the rest of the content can be in Thai, maybe. I don't know. My English skill right now, I feel like it's at the communication level, like a basic communication. So everyday conversation, something like that, which suit with the vlog content, right? But then if I have like a more specific type of content that requires me to be explain it well and thoroughly like i have to explain it well in order to, for people to understand stuff like that maybe i i should keep that in thai that's what i think because i don't know i feel like my brain still not function that fast if i have to think in english you know what i mean i hope you know what i mean especially if you have english as a second language you get what i mean right away for sure anyway back to the book project so this book, I don't know when it's gonna publish. I think it's next year because the deadline is like the end of this year, you know? So I think it's gonna start like marketing and making the book and publish it next year. So this is the Facebook of the publishing company. If you wanna follow them and see when they're gonna come out, I'm probably gonna repost their post anyway. If you follow me on Facebook or Twitter or I don't know. Actually, do they have Twitter? Anyway, that's the update of what I've been doing for the past few months. Oh, forgot to show you. Forgot to show you the drawing that I've done for them. I think I can show you guys this. Um, I might have to ask them later, but I'm pretty sure I can show you. Show you? <laughs> what? I'm pretty sure I can show this to you guys. Okay, all this time, I forgot to hold up the mic near my mouth. So, I don't know when this happened, but I hope the audio is still doing not great. 
maybe. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is learning 3D. Me and my friends have been trying to learn 3D together for the past, I would say, two days. <laughs> not not two days. That is too little. Maybe four. <laughs> That's not making any difference. But we just decided that we want to learn 3D together. So almost every day, I said almost because we skipped. Yesterday, almost every day, we just find like a really easy tutorial to learn together. So yeah, I'm going to do that right now. It's lunch time. I have some rice porridge with bamboo soup and stir fry veggies with pork. Both are delicious, but if I have to pick one to be my favorite, it definitely has to be the bamboo soup. Just finished my lunch, and now I'm going to have a dessert. Which is a chocolate mist. I bought this from Walmart um, two days ago, I think. I already ate half of it because I can't wait. Mmm, sweet and chocolatey. I wish it can be less sweeter than this. Yeah, but well, aside from that, it's really good. I have to do some meal prepping. That's why we are in my kitchen. So me and my family are gonna have spring rolls for dinner tonight. So I have to chop up some cabbage and carrots. Thanks God, I have this mandolin for slicing carrots. Otherwise, it would take me forever to do it. And here's my awkward pose when using the mandolin. I don't know why I did that honestly. Oh, look at her. By the way, you know how I told you that I read every single comment on the last video? There's one comment that I want to talk about. Um, it's this comment. Basically, he said, I don't want to sound rude or anything, but I'm curious. Since you live in the USA, why do you feel nervous speaking, speaking in English? Since I saw this comment, I've been thinking that I want to answer this. And I'm glad you asked this question because I'm thinking to talk about it eventually. However, there's a reply on that comment that basically just answered for me already. So on that comment just basically said, guessing that because I'm a freelance artist, so most of the time I'm working from home, so I don't have a lot of chance to interact with people and use my English, which is correct. That is actually correct. So yes, my freelance work doesn't require me to go outside and talk to other people at all which is why i don't really use english that much even though i live in the state and i know this have been i don't want to say an issue because i do love this lifestyle but i mean you cannot lie it does affect me to not be able to improve my english skill which is also why i think making video in english can be like a challenge a little challenge for me to at least use my English skill and talk to you guys. That's what I think. I don't know, maybe this motivation can be changed later on in time. Who knows?
right now it's half past five and the outside looks so dark in the camera well actually in real life it looks really dark too hmm maybe it's cloudy today anyway i'm going to make a spin roll today and normally i would do in the kitchen but since the kitchen a little bit messy and i don't want to show you guys that so i will gather everything and make the spin roll on my desk sounds good let's do it Okay, first thing first, I'm going to separate each cheat. I'm going to do that for about 5 to 10 cheats per round. The reason I only do 5 to 10 cheats at a time because I don't want the sheet to get dry out. If the sheet get too dry, it's gonna be impossible to roll the spin roll. And now let's make a spin roll. I'm adding my filling about at the center of the sheet. As you can see, then you want to pick up one of the corner, cover the filling and tuck the filling toward yourself like this. Then roll up halfway before folding both sides toward the center. And then keep rolling up almost to the end but not quite because you want to add the egg wash to act as a glue and then you can roll all the way up. And here's our first spin roll. And now we have to just repeat the same process over and over and make a bunch of spin roll. This took me mm, not that long actually. It took me about 40 minutes before I ran out of the filling. I also experiment with the amount of filling I put in one spin roll as well. So this one as you can see I put the normal amount of filling to make a spin roll. And then I make another one with a little bit more filling. Just want to see if it's gonna make any difference in terms of the size of the spin roll. Turn out that the size not really different at all actually. But on the bottom one, you can definitely know that it's more filling because you can almost see through the pastry, right? So for the conclusion, I think the size are pretty much the same. It's really depend on the ratio between the pastry and the filling. Like which one do you prefer? Do you prefer more filling or more pastry? Something like that. So this part is when I finished this spin roll already and I spent a little bit too much time explaining what I'm going to do next. Basically what I said is normally I would deep fry them but this time I want to try air fire them. You guys finally finished. So, couple things. The air fire result does work. However, I don't think it's developed the color as much as I would like. At first, we started with 7 minutes at 360, right? And then I cook it for another 8 minutes. Then I took 3 of them out. So, these 3. Then I left this one at 400 for 2 minutes. I want to see if it can get even more color if I crank up the heat. But I don't know if you can tell. So this one, the one that got another 402 minute, right? The color doesn't really look different that much. And then I don't want to keep frying them even further because I don't want to risk them getting burnt. So just gonna eat them now. <laughs> For the dipping sauce that I have it right here, I use this. Namjimkai Sweet chili sauce This one and I add a bit of hot boiling water in it to dilute them a little bit My mom told me to do that so that's what I do And now we get to test our spin roll Okay, maybe I dilute my sauce too much <laughs> Here we go Mmm, it's definitely crispy I'm hot. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm so bad at commenting 
the food it's crispy it's delicious hmm what else should i say it's spring roll i don't know what else to say mm -hmm. i think i will go enjoy my dinner now so thank you so much for watching this video see you guys later bye